Hey guys, okay, so it's Tiffany here from Tiffany Harper Online, and today I just wanted to take a few moments to share a little bit of my story and why I became a Beachbody coach. I get asked this question a lot, how I got started in my health and fitness career, how I got started in health and fitness period, and what made me decide to make a decision to make this my job and what exactly is a Beachbody coach. So I've done small videos like this before, um, but I really wanted to give you more of my story attached with it because that was really the catalyst that drove me to make a decision to make this a career and to help benefit my family and also to help other people at the same time. So I, this isn't just a job that I just do, but it also, it blesses my family. It blesses other people around me. Um, I'm able to help people and fuel my passion um, towards helping women not only be healthier on the outside, but also be healthier on the inside and um, practice heart health and their soul health. So that's a little bit of it, um, but about me, I've been married for 10 years to a wonderful man. Um, together we have two kids, a boy and a girl, and we live in the middle of nowhere. We live on a ranch. My husband is in ministry, so he works for a nonprofit, and through that nonprofit, um, we are housed on a ranch, um, kind of by San Diego. Um, and that's where my husband works with men who are overcoming drug and alcohol addiction. Um, so he is their case manager as well as their pastor. So he does a lot of ministry work there as well. He's not just handling the legal stuff. He's also working on their heart and helping them really transform and get a second chance at life. So um, it is ministry. It's a lot of work. We live in the middle of nowhere. Um, right now I'm at my mother-in-law's house, but um, we live in a trailer. We live on site at the ranch. And so that's what we are called to as of this moment. We're excited to see what God has in store for us later. Um, but right now we are here and we are enjoying ministry the best that we can and praying and just allowing God to work through us while we're here at this time. Um, my personal story through Beachbody is I was actually a Beachbody customer before I became a coach. Uh, after my daughter was born, I had purchased a program called Turbo Jam, and I think this is like way back in 2006, and I really just wanted to get healthy and lose the baby weight. I lost most of the baby weight pretty easily after Madison was born, so it wasn't too difficult. I was seeing great results with Turbo Jam. I didn't actually, shamefully, I didn't follow the diet as well, but I still saw results. I was relatively young. I was about 25, 24, 25 years old at the time, so your age does help a little bit um, when you're younger and you have children younger, but for the most part, I lost weight relatively quickly the first time around. Fast forward to when my, after my son was born, he was about a year and a half and the, I still looked about four or five months pregnant. Um, the weight did not come off quite as easily. I was a little older. I was 28, 29. Actually, no, I was 29, almost 30 at this point. And um, yeah, the weight was hanging on. It wasn't, I couldn't just eat whatever I wanted and, you know, do a little bit of exercise here and there and expect it to come off. I needed to put some work in. And not only was I still feeling pregnant, even though the baby was clearly outside of my body, um, I was feeling tired all the time and I just could not deal with life very well. I was constantly stressed out. Um, I, did not like what I saw in the mirror. I was tired nine times out of 10. Our family in whole, because I was so tired, I couldn't even make dinner regularly. We would eat out probably four to five nights out of the week, we would be going through a drive through And so not only was I putting junk food into my body, but my family was getting nothing but junk food. There was nothing healthy going on in our lives. And I was so frustrated because I knew that I couldn't live like this anymore, but I didn't know how to fix it. And I remember praying, God, I just, something needs to change. I don't like how I'm living. Like I can't, I'm going to be turning 30. I can't live like this. So with that, friends encouraged me, just start moving, start making some changes, do as much research as you can, invest what you can, take the first step and gradually things will change. And so... I pulled out the Turbo, Dan Turbo Jam DVD and started pushing that, pushing play on that for a couple days a week. I also took up running. I found workout vi uh, videos on YouTube, which were great. It was free. We were a one income family. My husband was in ministry and um, it was great. It was free and I was able to work out and feel great. I did still struggle with the nutrition. So 
part of that was I had, I did invest in a nutrition plan that I felt I really needed because I did not understand how to eat well. When I was in my 20s, eating well was just like sticking with a salad and that was it. I had no concept of eating different types of foods in order to fill my body with nutrient dense, nutrient quality foods in my body. All I understood was low calorie was better for you. I did not have any concept of nutrition at all. So this training plan, excuse me, this nutrition plan helped me figure out nutrition and really give myself an education on why I need to feed myself these types of foods and what ben how it benefited me and not just me, but my entire family. So focusing on my nutrition, working out all the time, I did a 5K um, and in that nine month span, I lost 20 pounds and I not only lost 20 pounds, but I also regained some of my life back. When I was unhealthy, I was too tired to play with my kids. I was just exhausted. My daughter was four at the time and my son was about a year and a half. And when he would take his one nap during that day, um, I would take a nap as well. And it would be like three or four hours. And so that's not a nap. That's like another bedtime. Um, I would take that a nap. I would take up that time and sleep. And my poor daughter was playing by herself in her bedroom. And that really made me realize that I cannot live like that. So not only did I lose weight, but I also gained energy that I was missing and I was able to incorporate and give to my daughter because she missed out on moments. I missed out on moments with my daughter because I was unhealthy. I was unfit. I did not take care of myself. And for so long, I would beat myself up because I thought it was selfish to put myself first. But then I realized when I lacked self-care, I wasn't able to be the best to my daughter. And now that I was able to take care, it was an hour of my time in order to just feel good, break a sweat and eat better. Um, now I was able to be a better mother and be more available to her emotionally and physically like I wanted to be. This is a ministry that God has placed in my life and I didn't want to mess this one thing up. You know, being a, being a mother who's available and loving to her children, I did not want to mess this up. So, you know, I felt so much better. I was loving the results that I saw. Um, and people were starting to ask me what I was doing and why I was glowing and how did I lose the weight and, you know, what workout program was I doing? And I was pointing to people to all these directions and I was spending my time emailing and connecting with people and talking to them and encouraging them and giving them advice. And somebody said somewhere, Hey, you know, um, you could make this a career. You would be great at coaching people and loving on people. And I briefly heard about the Beachbody coaching opportunity via Twitter. I was following a fellow pastor's wife on Twitter, Michelle Myers, and I noticed that she kept talking about how she loved her results from her fitness program and how she turned her love of fitness into a career through Beachbody coaching. And so I pretty much stalked her for the next like two months and I just read every blog post she wrote about Beachbody coaching, every video she posted, anything I could possibly, I even did my own research, not even on her site, but on other sites. And I realized this was something I could do. I could stay at home with my kids. And at the same time, I could still be healthy and find a way to stay accountable to my own health and fitness goals and help people reach their health and fitness goals and also be contributing to my family financially. Again, we are a one income family. Like it was tough. Things were tight and it was crazy to think that I would want to have a business, <laughs> try and build a business on our one income because we didn't have very much. But I went to my husband and I said, Hey, this, I want to do this. This is something I really, really want to do. And at first he was like, there's no way you're a mom. You don't have time. Um, you don't have money. <laughs> like this is crazy. You can't do this. Well, I mean to invest money, uh, it's, it's a risk and it was most definitely. But I said, no, I really think I could do this. I really, really want to do this and I will stick with it. And he said, okay. 
So I signed up and three years later, um, I am a Diamond Beachbody coach. I have a growing organization of coaches who are also um, working towards becoming diamonds and becoming leaders and training people and helping people become healthier. They're reaching financial goals that they never thought possible. My family is able to go grocery shopping without worrying too much. Um, I'm able to pay bills if we need to. My husband lost his job two years ago and my beach body check, even though at that time it wasn't very big, it was providing food and gas and paying some bills that wouldn't have been able to happen if I didn't have this business. It was an opportunity that I took a part of that I wasn't sure was a good idea and he wasn't sure was a good idea, but yet it blessed us when we needed it the most and it benefited us. And so if you're watching this and you're like, I don't know if I could afford to start a business because we are struggling, maybe that can be your reason why you would start a business. We didn't have a lot and we were really struggling. We were living paycheck to paycheck and we didn't have anything, a whole lot to invest. And um, I did invest in my business and I can say to this day, I do not regret at all paying and starting my business. Um, this being a coach has been such a huge blessing and I've made so many new friends and so many new connections and I've watched women's lives transform because they decided to take a step in getting healthier and and working on their nutrition and they feel amazing and then I also see other women who are taking a step in building a business and watching their dreams come true so this has been so incredible. And that's why I became a Beachbody coach is because there were so many different reasons that a person could join. But for me, this has been such a huge blessing and it's been so much fun. And it has been work too. Like, don't get me wrong. I work. I work every single day and I connect with people every single day and I do my job because I love it. But it's been so fun and so rewarding. And, um, that's why I became a coach. I got to help people and I got to bless my family at the same time. So um, that's the gist of it. Um, thank you for watching. I, if you have any questions, if you have concerns or you're wondering how you can become a Beachbody coach or you need more information, I would love nothing more than to have a conversation with you either over the phone or via email or video chat, whatever works for you. would love to answer your questions. Hell, I would love to have you on my team, on Team Fuel. Um, I know you would be great. It would be so much fun and we could build friendships and help you change your life and the lives of other women. So thank you so much for watching. Again, any questions, feel free to comment below. Subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos. And um, thanks so much. Talk soon, you guys. Bye.